Hi, Julie here. Before we get started, there are a couple of things I need to let you know. First of all, I am on the design team for Coco Daisy, which means that I do receive the products for free or at a reduced cost. I also receive my kits at the beginning of the shipping cycle or even a little before that. So if you haven't gotten your box yet, it is coming, but it may be a few days from now before you get it. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and let's get going. Hi, my Coco Daisy friends. Uh, Julie Deal Mooney here today to do the unboxing of the October Frost and Flannel Kit. And so I have my box here. I haven't even unopened it. So before we get going, I'm going to push it off to the side and... Um, and I will tell you in the comments where to skip to if you don't want to see the stuff that I've pulled for this kit. But the first thing that I'm going to do is show you what I've pulled. So I'm going to put this out of the way for a second. And get into this little bucket of stuff. So I pulled out these little galvanized pails that I'm going to use for um, die cuts. I was at the store the other day and saw this cute little tin cup that said pumpkin patch on it and it was on sale. I thought that'd be cute to put, so I put glitter. So I have all different, and then these were the um, glitter drops, Novo glitter drops from July. Uh, the July kit, the uh, memory keeper, classified memory keeping kit. And so then I just have sequins in here that I think might might go with the sequins that came and some Distress Mica Spray, which I've never used before, but I think I might try this month maybe, we'll see. So there's that little bucket of goodies. Um, okay, so I don't think I need any more swag because I have all of these and all of these are from Fur and You. Um, one, one, I think this one was from last year and this one might be from this year. I'm not even sure what kit that one was from, but that was from the July kit because it's got the animal print on it. So I have plenty of swag. And uh, then I pulled this um, bag from, I think this was from October of last year. And I just had this little uh, bow tassel and this super cute um, owl from Calibri Charm. So I just... Um, attach those to the pouch. So that's the pouch I'm gonna use this month because there's not a pouch in the kit. And then this is just some more glitter uh, sequins that the orange was really what I was pulling it for specifically. Maybe the yellows, possibly greens, but uh, that's gonna go with this. And then here are some washi that I pulled. This was from uh, July of this year. This was from either September or October of last year. I have no idea where that yellow one is from, but it's Coco Daisy, and I've used it for several different kits. It might have even been January of this year. And then I just have some solids and some neutral tones that I pulled to go along with the um, washi that came that comes in the kits. And then I just had some more glitter. So these are some sequins that I got last year. September, October, October, I'm thinking of last year from Coco Daisy, and then some glitter that I got from Coco Daisy last year in October. So all of that will go with the glitter. And, and then I just went through my stuff because October is such a, an um, iconic sort of month. I just went through my stuff from last October. Um, that was from the September kit, but I fall did not hit in September where I live, so I just saved that for this month. Um, and, and then I, d I think I might have just pulled pulled some from October and November of last year. Um, I pulled some cork pieces from last October, November, some vellum leaves, some chipboards, some of my own stickers, some die cuts. That looks like October of last year. I did not even use these puppy stickers, and I think we got some more this month. So I've just pulled them out, die cuts, and then some papers. So this is just all the stuff that I saved from last year. Oh, and I made this pocket last year, and I thought, you know, I might just incorporate that because I really, really liked that pattern. So that's just some stuff that I have pulled to go with the kits. And then, um, as far as binders go, um, 
I have this uh, Carpe Diem binder, and I made this tassel for it, but it is so gigantically large. Um, I really like it, but it's really big, so I don't know about that or not. The yarn was really big, and then when I made the tassel, it's really big. I might trim it a little bit. I'm not really sure. Or I might just use it all gigantic the way it is. Um, but that was the first time I'd ever made a yarn tassel, so that was fun. So this is what I'm looking at using for October. Um, just to show you how I set up, I cut these out with my silhouette. So I have five dividers every month. And so before I get my actual dividers made, I like having the structure of having everything divided in my planner. So these are just placeholders until I get the real ones. Um, and so this is my monthly tab. This is my planner tab. So I have my planner list. Um, that I just made up and I was gonna do some layouts for this month, but my kit came so quickly um, that I haven't even done any layouts. So I may do some this week because I have plenty of time this month for setting up my planner. So that's all I have in here right now, but that's what I'm gonna use for the first four weeks of October. And then for the last week for the Halloween kit, I am going to use my, it's so brand new, it still has plastic on the little heart. Um, this Aura Estelle Cloud, and it's an A5 wide. And so, um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna use for the last week. I may use this for the whole month, I'm not sure. And then I just made um, some fake Cocoa Daisy pages for Halloween um, so that I would have something to put my Halloween stuff on that looked Halloweenish. So that's all I have in my binder so far. And then I have one more thing to show you. and I'm not gonna go through all of this, but I do have um, this fabulous tray of goodies, and it's a double tiered tray, so there are bows on the bottom, and um, uh, some of the highlights, though, are these leaf felt leaf clips from last October. Those are really cute. Uh, let's see, I've got a little Simon in a sweater because I think he'll be cute this month. Let's see what's up here. This is new, it is from uh this is for the halloween oh my gosh look how cute this is gonna look together um what is this from pine and peony pine and peony so that's for halloween week and then um oh my gosh i have all these leaves from calibri charms from last year um i have this acorn it's like a little felt ball with it looks like an acorn and then i made these little shaker clips last year um so i pulled them out so i have a leaf so yeah um so yeah so lots of pretties for uh to go with my setup and so let's get started with the unboxing because that's why you're here okay i'm gonna open it up and i love the new packaging and let's see what's in the box and the polka dotted Paper is so cute. And here is the card that says flannel and frost with all of its pumpkin goodness. And then on the back, Christine um, goes into um, her inspiration for this kit. And so, yeah, fall. I can't believe it's time for fall. And then the next thing is the Coco Daisy Refer a Friend. So there's a couple of things about this. Um, if you are not a Coco Daisy subscriber, um, you can use my name. And if you do, you will get $10 to use um, on a later purchase. And that's not for a subscription, that's just a purchase in the store. Um, but if you have a friend and you refer a friend and they put your name in there, both you and she get a $10, um, $10 to spend in the store on a later purchase. So, um, if you know of someone or if you want to mention my name, I get a lovely email that says that you subscribe. So that just always warms my heart. So that's what that is for. And then on this side of it, it has a little calendar thing that you can use for tracking stuff. Okay, so here are all the kits. Oh my gosh, there's so much goodness in here. So I am going to sort it all out and we will start with the planner kit. So here is the planner kit. And 
I decided to take everything out of its packaging so that you don't have to watch me fumble around with that this month. And so we can just get into the goodies. So I'm gonna start over here with the tabs. Um, there are six of these and I love the prints that they have. And then look at all the die cuts. This one says, stand tall and be brave, darling. That's so cute. And oh, the autumn of splendor, the splendor of autumn. That's really cute too. And then just the um, still life kind of things, a little hedgehog, um, harvest what you plant. These are so cute. Make the effort, oh, I like that one a lot. Um, pumpkin spice everything. And then here's the notepad, really cute. And I've been thinking of things to use that for already. I really like the colors in it. It's fall, but it's a little softer. The plaid pink. In. How cute is that with the gold chips in the middle? And then the washi is very similar to the pen, but it is, um, it's got gold in it. It's uh, foiled. And if you got the kit last month with the um, geometric white washi with the geom gold geometric, this washi has the same uh, consistency is the only word I can think of. Um, like I would say it has the best consistency of washi that I've ever had. It sticks well, it feels good. It it just, there's something about that washi that I like the way it feels. So yeah, that's real cute. And then there's a little bit of twine here that's like a kind of a khaki color and white stripe. That's really cute to use for whatever your creative mind could come up with. And then this pocket card that's with it says, put a sticky note on it. And then it's just got leaves on the other. That's really cute. And then here are some puffy leaves. And there is a little felt leaf clip that is so cute. And a couple of white tags and uh, sticky notes that look like a leaf. Um, so these are just white tags so that you can let your creativity shine with that as well. So I could see those going with that really well. Um, okay, so we have stickers. So these are the stickers that go on the tabs here. And they look really cute. And then these, I love to use these numbers on my monthly page. Um, and then just other little tiny stickers. And then this page, I love these icons. And then these tab stickers, um, you can either use them like this or they fit exactly over this one. So if there was one of these that you didn't particularly like, but you liked this one, you could use it over top of it. And then these are um, whole reinforcers, so you could use them there, but I really like the brown ones that are there. Um, and then there are a few, um, let's see, Loving Fall, most of all, Cozy Sweater Weather, uh, autumn bucket list, pumpkin spice, everything, happy Halloween. There's even a happy Thanksgiving that you can use next month. Pumpkin spice, everything. Oh, Canadian Thanksgiving is the 12th of October. So for all my Canadian friends out there, happy Thanksgiving early since we're end of November. Okay, so here are the planner papers and they are very wide. Oh, I love that wood. That wood paper is very pretty. And also, um, the packaging has wood paper that is different than that. So you can do two different things. So you can use the packaging for the wood paper. Uh, another little bit about the packaging. There is the glassine bag that the, um, I think the, the pocket card and the twine came in. Um, do something creative with that. Uh, yeah, because I kind of have that earmarked already. Um, I have some glassine bags, uh, but that one looks like the perfect size, so I'm probably going to use it. So here is the outside of that paper that's real pretty with almost a monochromatic leaf print. Ooh, look at that one. It's like watercolor falling leaves. That's so pretty. Oh, and then a nice plaid on the inside. And then this is really cute. Oh, and I love gingham, and I love gingham turned at 45 degree angles. All right, so there are the planner papers. I'm going to put those off to the side back here in my tray. 
All right, so here are the loose sheets. Um, I get A5 loose sheets. I also get an A5 Daisy Dory, so we'll flip through both of them. So life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. Oh, that's a really cute quote. I haven't been using this page in my planner, but I did use it two months ago, August. I used it in August. I may use it in October too, because I like that. And I just love this color selection. I love this color that's added in here. Just this, it's not even quite teal. I'm not even sure how what, what to call that color, but it's really pretty. So there are the week on one page, the color block pages. They look like that, and you get five of them. And then the weekly spreads look like this, and you get five of those as well. And there's a little animal up in the corner, but I quite frankly am not sure what kind of little animal. And then, okay, so that's all the weekly pages. So they repeat, oh, in season of change, that's pretty. And then the notes page, and then the monthly page. I'm glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. Me too. October 15th is when it, when the weather breaks here. And then there is a future planning page with all the months on them. And then all the daily to-do pages. And I think you get 31 of these, 35, I don't know. You get a bunch of these, a bunch. And that's real pretty. I like the sunflowers, it's very pretty. All right, so those are the loose pages. And then the Dory book, I had it upside down, has a craft cover. And then it has a month on one page. Autumn carries more gold in its pocket than all the other seasons. That is the truth. And then there's this page. And then it has different spreads. So each spread is different and has different colors. And I decided to wait until I got the book. Just be yourself. Oh, this is a cute spread. Um, I haven't made any predeterminations. Pumpkin Kisses, Harvest Wishes. Oh, that one's cute too. My favorite color is October. That's a very cute spread. Oh, that one's pretty too. I feel like when I do this unboxing, I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. And look, there's that little animal again. I have no idea what that animal is. Hedgehog? Oh no. Feeling a little ignorant right now. <laughs> oh well. These are all very pretty. It's gonna be hard to pick which four of these I want. Oh, I like that with that deep wine color up there. Autumn paints in color that summer has never seen. This is true too. Oh gosh, I kind of like them all, so it'll be hard to pick. Oh, that page is very pretty. All right, so that is the Daisy Dory book and the planner kit. So I'm going to put all this away and then um, stay tuned and we will go through the planner add-on kit. Okay, so here is the planner add-on kit. So let's start with the washi. Um, this is a really nice print, kind of subtle and a little pale, which I really like. And um, I think there's just a lot of places that that can be used. And you could even cut it, and then you just have one little strip, like whichever color, the green or the kind of, yeah, I'm not sure what color that is in the middle, cream or the orange, if you just wanted one row of dots. So that is really cute, that washi tape. And then we have, let's start with the stickers. So we have a sheet of deco stickers, gorgeous. Um, one of my favorite sheets that has Monday through Sunday, um, five weeks worth. So no matter how many weeks you have in the month, you have those ready. And then alphabet stickers and number stickers with a little bit of icons in the middle, which I love those as well too. Um, I'm gonna sit that out of the way. And then um, these are like brown swirly glitter uh, swirls that you could use on your page. And they're on a clear acrylic sheet. And these are really cute. And um, we have had them before and I don't feel like I've used them to their most creative self. So I'm really gonna try to come up with something this month with those because I really like them in the brown. It's 
It's going to set that to the side. And then we have a page of, these are double sided stickers. And so you can peel them off and stick them like on the edge of the page like this. And it makes like a little tab, which is super cute. Or if you don't want to do that, then you just cut down the middle and then you have two stickers and you can use them in two different places. And they're just the, the, um, a reflection of each other. And then there are two bookmarks with the, um, with the month on them. Those are cute. And then, put these over here. Um, there is a La Pen in orange. So cute, and I like writing with these pens. And then, let's go through the die cuts. Um, so there's Deco, and Leaves Are Falling, Autumn Is Calling, and then there's a couple of tabs. And then this one, I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but you fold it right down the middle and stick it on a paper clip and then it makes just a little a little uh, tag that sticks up for a paper clip, paper clip flag. And all of these do have adhesive on the back so you can just peel them off. And then there's a bunch of little dots here which last month I used as confetti, but this month now that there's adhesive on the back, I will stick them down on things. I tell you quite frankly, I was too lazy to put adhesive on the back of them. And I had the idea to use them as confetti. Um, so yeah, so there are the die cuts. So I am going to sort those by what they are to put them away. So I sort mine by pictures, words, and tabs and labels. And um, <laughs> if it's like that, that counts as a picture. If it has a picture, it counts as a picture, even if it has a word on it. So um, yeah, and then I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the little dots. I might put them somewhere separate, so I'm gonna put them off to the side. These are my favorite. We have bows. So cute. Love bows. Can never have enough too many bows. Oh, that's pretty. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. I already told you I like gingham. Okay. Let's see what this one says. Every footstep into fall fills my soul with undying awe. That's very pretty. And then here's the color sheet, so that if you're going in a store, you can match your colors, but it's also very cute. You could also cut it up and do something with each of those squares. I'm so glad I live in a world where they're October. Once again, there's a glassine bag that um, had some of this stuff in it, and so take advantage of that. That is um, a great thing to use when you're setting up your planner or memory keeping. And then there are hexagon um, die cuts that have adhesive on the back of them. Those are super cute. And a weekend die cut. So that is the planner add-on kit. So give me just a second and I'll get the dashboards out for you. So these are the dashboards. They come in both personal size and uh, A5 and they match. And so we have October with a wood background. It's a deco on the side. Oh, I love this one. Then pumpkins with a very large watercolor gigam in the background. Autumn season is finally here. Oh, that's so pretty. Coco Daisy Farms, Hudsonville, Michigan, pumpkin patch, pick your own one mile ahead. Remember I told y'all I got that cup? It's so close. I bought this cup just a little bit ago. Look how close it is. How cute is that? Great minds think alike. <clears throat> okay, sorry I got distracted. Happiness blooms from within. Oh, that's so pretty. And I don't know if you can see, it's got like a little newsprint behind it. That's really cute. Look at the color. Ooh. Oh, and this is pretty too. Wow. Love those. Really like the dashboards this month. Okay, here are the sticker kits. This is the classic sticker kit. This is the planner sticker kit. This is the memory keeping sticker kit. This is the Daisy Weeks calendar sticker kit. And then this one behind it is the Daisy Weeks sticker kit. 
So I'm going to do the Daisy Weeks first, and then we'll come back and look at the other three together. I'm just going to scoot those ahead. So the Daisy Weeks, um, let me get these out of the way. Sorry. Okay, here we go. So the Daisy Weeks calendar sticker kit is for the monthly calendar. So it has an October header. It has these low profile days of the weeks and um, some icons and some tiny little little boxes. And so this fits in a Hobonichi Weeks perfectly. Um, I think it fits in a print impression weeks. I think it'll fit in a lot of different things. Um, if you're bullet journaling, this is also something that might work for you. Or if you just like having smaller stickers, um, the weeks calendar kit and the Daisy Week sticker kit are good ones. So this is the um, Daisy Week sticker kit. And so this one is more for every day of the week because you've got the Monday through Sunday You've got five sets of those, some headers, some icons. Um, these little numbers right here fit perfectly right in the little box for the header. And it's got some faux washi, some deco, and all these little um, nail appointments, birthdays, takeout, payday, date night, just really cute. And these are transparent stickers. The rest of these are white. And then these are set up to go together to make a spread so that these two go together on a spread, these two, these, these, these. So you have five weeks. And then um, this one coordinates with this one, and this one coordinates with this one, and so on and so forth. Not that you have to do that that way, but they are set up so that they do color coordinate perfectly to make a whole spread. And so those are the pages that go on the week spread. And then we have some little boxes and some little checklists. And then some more deco and some more headers and these cute little trackers. And so I am not currently using my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, and so I, um, I haven't been using these stickers as much as I used to. So, um, yeah. So, but I love them and they work great in the Hobonichi week. So I may turn it into a gratitude journal. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. So um, yeah, so I've gotta do something with these. Okay, so then we have the other three sticker kits. Okay, so now I've played the shell game and moved them all around. Classic planner sticker kit, memory keeping sticker kit, and planner sticker kit. Okay, so let's do this part first. So on the back of both of these, it says, we would like to apologize for the missing Fs in the August sticker kit alphabet sheets. Please accept this extra alphabet set for the inconvenience we have caused. So in the memory keeping sticker kit, you've got this lovely blue set. And in the classic planner kit, you got this uh, kind of a goldish mustardy kind of dark mustard. Um, oh, they also have little smiley faces and hearts down there. Um, I, quite frankly, did not even notice the Fs were missing. I evidently do not need any Fs in my world because I didn't use them. Um, so there are extra, these are just extras for this month. So that's very awesome. So I'm going to set those off to the side. Okay, so with the memory keeping sticker kit, you get this little extra that has um, words on it that you can use. And then with the planner sticker kit, you get this little um, little transparent dots. Both of these are transparent stickers. Move those off to the side. Okay, so all of them you get decorative boxes. Um, they're just different sizes. The planner sticker kit, they are one and a half by two, maybe. Erin Condren size. These are Erin Condren size. These are happy planner size. These are big happy planner size. So um, so you can see some of the designs are repeated. Um, here you have faux washi at the bottom and the memory keeping and the planner sticker kit. Here you have some extra boxes. And you can see then you have some more boxes and some trackers. And then this one has more large boxes. So you get boxes in all of them. So I'm gonna move the boxes to the back. Okay, so when we get back to boxes, we'll be, we will have looked through all of them. 
Okay, so then you get clipboards and um, trackers for both the classic planner sticker kit and the planner sticker kit. The memory keeping kit you don't get so much because if you're memory keeping, you don't really are, you're not really tracking stuff. Or I guess you could make some lists, but not quite like like that. Um, okay, so then with the planner sticker kit, you get these great hydrate stickers that if you've ever watched any of my videos, you see I put them down every month and I never use them, but they're really cute. And I, I have hopes of actually getting it together and actually tracking my water, but I don't. Uh, I do try to drink water. So then there's some boxes and some words here. Um, these have some words and some deco. These have some deco and some boxes. Okay, let's move on to the next one. You can see the uh, classic planner sticker kit and the planner sticker kit have a lot of similarities. It's just the size of everything. So the headers, the width of them is exactly the same. It's the length. So like the length of the checklist here and the length of the checklist here. And then this has four weekends, whereas this one has some deco. This has some smaller icons. This has some really big icons. So they're just slightly different. And then this one, um, that was the deco that we looked at. This one doesn't have any of that kind of stuff, but it does have an extra set of alphabets, which I love. And then this one has an alphabet with some uh, washi. And this one has some smaller hexagon stickers and smaller width stickers. So um, all of these boxes and these boxes are an inch and a half wide. These are an inch and a quarter all of these on this sheet, which fit on the monthly page if you're an A5. Okay, so we'll move these around. And so then we have, um, for the memory keeping kit, we have some words and some numbers and some circles and some morpho washi. Um, for the planner sticker kit and the classic planner sticker kit, we have a transparent sheet. So this one has lots of faux washi and these little paint um, swatches, swooshes, swashes, swashes. And this one has some um, artwork that's transparent, so when you put it down, you can't, you know, it's clear, and then some faux washi. And so then, let's see. This one, oh, I'm gonna turn it upside down, has a transparent sheet that has some um, artwork with some quotes as well. They're just, the quotes are just a little bit larger. So you can see in that Hello Autumn, same, similar artwork, but the memory keeping is larger. So there we go. And that is all of the sticker kits. And so now I have lots and lots and lots of stickers. Okay, here is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And so I'm gonna start with the washi and it is a wood grain washi. And that's, let's see if it'll zoom in. Yeah, that's so adorable. I can think of lots of places to use that. Uh, let me get that rolled back up. Okay, and then there is a set of puffy leaf stickers. So cute. And there is a set of puffy alphabet stickers in a nice kind of bluish grayish color. Really pretty. And then there's a set of regular alphabet stickers, which I love. I can never have too many alphabet stickers. And glitter dots. Look, one of my little tin soldiers got out of out of his row. How funny. I've never seen one that's not in a row like that. It's like a little rebel right there. So um, yeah, I love the glitter dots. There's always a place to put a glitter dot. And then the stamps. I really like this autumn one. So yeah, these are really cute. And the thing with these is that you could do this one in a color and then this one in black on top of it. They layer together. So these two layer and these two layer and these two layer. So that's going to be really cute. And chipboard stickers, which I absolutely love. And I didn't do this last month when we had chipboard stickers, but I did do it last year and I did pull it out. This one got a little grungy in my bucket, but um, I just backed it with some solid paper and used a hot glue gun. And then I put some um, 
gooey stuff. I can't even remember what the stuff is called. Shiny stuff that it takes 24 hours for it to dry just to make it a little shiny on top of the chipboard sticker. And it made a really cute little um, uh, paper clips. Yeah. So that's a good thing you can do with that. Alternately, you can just put the chipboard stickers on your page, which is super cute as well. Um, this gorgeous tag. I love this tag this month. I'm not really good with tags. I really need to uh, work on my tag game. I see them and I think they're adorable and I don't use them. Um, oh, and there's a brown lapin. It's almost like sometimes um, uh, they get into my head and they know exactly what I want because I literally was writing something the other day with black ink and I thought, you know, I really want to try different colors again. I used to write in different colors all the time and I haven't done it in a long time. And I do like Le Pen, so maybe brown and orange will be what I do this month. So here are all of the die cuts. There is a tiny tag, which is really cute. And then there are some circles with words and um, really cute. This one says, happy fall, y'all. Sweater weather, feeling happy. Uh, just a lot of little words. This one's really cute. And then these fold over and make a little tab. And then these are little labels. And this is a tab. So once again, I'm going to put these away based on what they are. All of these are words. And then we will look at the simple dory. Okay, so the simple dory is a booklet that's more about memory keeping than um, the daisy dory that I showed you earlier that was for planning. So um, this is for more for memory keeping. Um, I don't memory keep, I'm flirting with the idea of it. Um, and if I do, I probably will cut this book down the middle and put rings in it and do it that way or do pocket memory keeping. I'm not sure which one, I haven't quite gotten there yet. So, um, so it has some solid pages and then just some places to uh, set up a layout and then it's Got a nice plan. Right now what I do is I cut this book down and I use the paper, especially when there are moments where I want um, just like text weight paper. Oh, look at that one, autumn colors. Um, oh, I just got a delivery notification that my box of happy was delivered. Um, I really like that one. And so like I will trim that out and use it in a layout somewhere because it's just really cute. That's really pretty. A lot of times I'll look through this and I'm like, oh, look at these papers. And then it's part of the memory keeping papers and I just didn't realize it. And the hexagons and the wood. I always like that layout. That's a little bar of pattern. I love that. And the little plus signs. Oh, and a little spooky spider web. And then that's the back of it. And it is covered with craft paper. So that is the simple dory. I'm gonna put it in my tray, sorry. And here are the papers. So there are, for the uh, Traveler's Notebook, you get two sets of papers and they are exactly the same. So this one has, that's the front and back. And then this is the front and back. Oh, look at that, that watercolor and the stripe. Very nice. And then a plaid and the hexagon. And so those are the memory keeping papers. And those are six by eight and a half. And then with the um, Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit, there are instructions on how to get started with a layout that Christine has done so that it just kind of gives you an idea. Oh, look, see, she stamped it right here. You can see she stamped that with yellow and then covered it with either black or brown. Um, and then there is a second layout. And then there is a sketch where you can, um, it's just a jumping off point. And so, um, especially if you're new to memory keeping and not really sure, um, if you are new to memory keeping, uh, Kylie Kingham also has a memory keeping class that you can get through Coco Daisy, and I think I'm going to do it. I haven't gotten there yet, um, but I think that would be good because I haven't started memory keeping really yet, so it would be good to get some information on how to get started with that. 
Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is the pocket memory keeping kit. Okay, here is the pocket, the memory keeping pocket kit. And so it comes with a tag. I'm just gonna dive right in. It comes with a tag, like the tag that was in the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. Uh, it comes with puppy alphabets, a different color than the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. Uh, comes with puppy leaf stickers, and those are like the ones that are in the other kits. Uh, chipboard stickers that are different than the ones that are in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. These are really cute ones. I'm really liking them. Both of them, both both sets. And then the papers are the same as the. Um, Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. It's just that you get one set of them in the Pocket Memory Keeping Kit. And then there is a, an assortment of uh, die cuts, and they all have, uh, most of them have words on them. There's one small tag, and then there are a few labels and tabs, and then the rest of them have um, words on them. I like that one that says Fall Day. That one's really cute. So I'm gonna pull those all up and put them in the little bucket. So then you can see here, I'm, oh, I flipped them over. I'm gonna to have to go back in and flip them back over as I look at them. But I keep them in these little galvanized pails and here's my one with the pictures. And then there are three that ha are circles. They're still words, so I'm just gonna put them in there with it. Look, I love, love, love when, um, there are sequins, and so these have little tiny leaves. They're so cute. See the little leaves that are in there? So cute. So yeah, definitely gonna use that. And then these, okay, these are my favorite thing for this month. And I really haven't figured out how I'm gonna use them yet, but I'm going to use them because they're gorgeous. They're vellum, and then they have gold around the edge of them. They're really, really, really cute. So yeah, these are really cute. And I kept the packaging over here for that because I'm gonna put those back. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna put them back in this packaging so that they don't get wrinkled on the corners. They don't get bent. So yeah, put those back in there. And then we have the stamps for the pocket kit and they are different than the stamps. Oh, beautiful, that's cute. And a little wreath. And this would make a really cute border on the page. Some little teeny tiny stand, uh, leaves. Welcome autumn at the orchard. Finally some me time, pumpkin spice time. Those are really cute. And then we have glitter dots. Super glitter dots, I love them. And then the pocket cards. And so I am gonna flip through them very quickly. Um, and I'm going to speed that up for you. Okay, so that is the pocket memory keeping kit. The only other kit that I have to unbox is the planner classified kit. So if you do not want to see what is in the planner classified kit, um, thank you for watching and have a great day. If you wanna see what's in the planner classified kit, stay tuned, I'm getting ready to open it up. Okay, I have the planner classified kit and I have been wanting to do something with this for months. And every month I try to get it open and I tear it. So this month I'm going to cut the bag. So that I can save this guy right here and for later. So, 
And I'm just gonna dump everything out. There we go. Okay. We have a button that goes on the magnetic button that says hello. And oh, and it has that little hedgehog and a pumpkin. Cute. And the washi is the same that was in the um, Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And then there are more sequins, just like in the um, Pocket Memory Keeping Kit. Oh, and there's a bow. I didn't unwrap. Oh, yeah, because I opened the bag. So this one, you'll just have to wait for me to open up the plastic. Cute bow to go in our planner. And then, all oh, the Simon card. Let's see, he has to do call, email, plan, and he's got it all crossed out. And then it says rake leaves. Look how cute that is. Love Simon. And then there's some border stickers that are borders. Those are all really pretty. And then some deco stickers. And then these are some of my favorite every month. They are Days of the Week stickers and there's two sets of them. And I just love them. I love them every month. And then, how oh, I like the classified planner kit is just one. Yeah, it never disappoints. Every month, month after month, you get this stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, this is fabulous. Look at these toilies. These are so cool. So cool. I love that. And so once again, I'm going to put these back in their packaging because otherwise they will get bent up. So there are four of those. They're real pretty. So I'll put them back in their packaging. And then, wow, check out this vellum. It is orange sunflowers. That's so cute. I love orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors. And then the acetate. Wow, look at that acetate. That is so very pretty. The sunflowers and the pumpkins. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So that is the Planner Classified Kit, and I thank you for watching my unboxing. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified every time I uh, upload a video. And have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.